So today we're going to microchip the puppies, which are almost seven and a half weeks old. It's a really important process to microchip them. It is a record on a database of where your pup lives so that if it should become lost, a database can be checked and the uh, dog can be returned to the owner. So we're going to take the chips today. I, I pass a chip to my husband who does the chipping. Um, I also just check it with the scanner to see that it's a working chip, first of all. So I check the microchip first to see that it's reading, which I can see the read of the number there. And then I'll pass this over to you. And sometimes people say, oh, does it hurt them? <laughs> well, um... I don't think it's anything different really to actually an inoculation that you'd have for an animal or even for yourself. The needle is slightly bigger because the microchip is about the size of a grain of rice. You know, this is a legal requirement. It must be carried out on all dogs up to the age of, uh, of eight weeks. And as, as Jenny said, it's important that the record's kept up to date. It means that if your dog, you know, gets out, gets lost, then they can trace it back to you. And of course there is the other aspect of it. it, it does deter people from stealing your dog as well because as soon as they take it to a vet, the vet will you know, check the chip and, and hopefully trace it back to the real owner. So yeah, it's really important. So we've checked the chip, we know it's the right number. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the shoulder blades. So we're going to make a little TP uh, uh, above that with my fingers and then I'm going to put the needle in. It's important that we make a positive action with this so we get it straight through the skin, which is quite thick. You're ready, Dutch. And now we need to check the chip to make sure that it's uh, it's actually gone in. There we go. Yeah. And now we do all the records. Sounds good, boy. 